Every time, every time I hit record, I start to yawn. Let me get some water. Hello, everyone. Now we can get started. Uh, welcome back to the channel. This is Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun, and you're tuning in to the Adam So Fun Summer Quilt Along hashtag ASF Summer QAL. That's a lot of letters. <laughs> so, um, I decided to start it a few days early. I'm going to change the format a little bit just because I have been on vacation and I can because it's my channel. I get to do what I want. So uh, before we get into the fun stuff, hey, I'm Adam. If this is your first time here, I do a lot of long arm. This is going to be a quilt along where we piece it, long arm it, have a finished quilt at the end. So it's just going to be super fun. We might even put the binding on while it's on the long arm. I just thought about that. Um, so yeah, make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and you hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. You can also follow me on social media, Adam So Fun with an S-E-W on Facebook and Instagram, where you see a lot of other things that don't come and actually hit the YouTube channel. So this is the open options pattern. This is what we're gonna be using. This pattern is available from Material Girlfriends. I know there's other people who have made similar patterns. I'm using this one. It is what it is. I saw the way they did it. I loved the way they did it. It was super easy, user-friendly. If you've never made a quilt before, easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I'm so weird. I'm so weird. If you're just joining us for the first time, this is me. I'm weird. Um, so I will be using the open options pattern. I will link them below. They have a digital copy, or they have a this isn't digital. They have a printed copy that you can purchase. Um, code ASF10, like Adam So Fun 10, ASF10, on either of their sites will save you 20% off of this pattern. Um, I will link below the hard copy, also the digital copy from their Etsy shop. Um, I went to town with that Etsy shop code because it, uh, on the Etsy shop, you might get more than just this pattern on a uh, discount and I bought a few other patterns. I first met these uh, ladies, Lisa and Laura and their fabulous mother who I can never remember her name because I was just calling her mom. But um, yeah, I <laughs> met them at uh, Road to California in January of 2020, depending, oh no, 2022. Is it 20? It's 2022. Uh, January of 2022, uh, when we started that show back up, um, they were across the booth from us and I, lo I looked at this quilt for five days and um one day one of our educators went across the way and she bought a pattern i believe it was this one and so then i had to go watch the demo and then i went and got mickey to come watch the demo and then i bought three patterns so i have voila confetti star and my open options i knew at this point that i thought this was one i was going to do for my quilt along just because it was something that new quilters would be able to do pretty easy. So if you're a new quilter, don't worry. It looks a lot harder than it is. Um, but yes, they are linked below. Go to town, buy everything. Um, make sure you go to their website. I'll link their website too. Go sign up for their newsletter. Uh, they do free blocks. They do quilt alongs themselves. I believe mystery quilt alongs and things. So uh, they are just great gals uh, all, all around. You can't go wrong with them. Um, I liked this pattern because there are so many ways to put it together to get the different layouts. And they give you, I believe, 13 options in this. They give you 14 layout options, but I think everybody's quilt's gonna look different. In my case, uh oh, oh, we have a grooming reminder tomorrow. Um, in my case, I'm gonna be using black and red. I know that Mickey's making one, Barb is making one. I need to message Kay and tell her to make hers. Uh, it's, everybody's off on the road doing something, but um, I just think everybody's gonna have a different quilt and I'm very excited about that. Um, it is uh, layer cake friendly, so I'm just using two layer cakes. Uh, the pattern calls for 10 and a half inch squares, depending on what pattern you, you uh, purchase. If you're using a layer cake, you're still going to use the same dimensions. Your ending blocks are just going to be a little bit smaller. So if you cut the 10 and a half inch squares, great. Your quilt's going to be a little bit bigger than everybody else's. And if you're using a layer cake like I am, then your quilt's just going to be a little bit smaller. It's like seven inches or so. Uh, seven, seven inches on one side and six on the other or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. Open options. This is the open options quilt. Uh, I've made it once, so I'm basically a professional about th with this. And um, this one was done with teals and blacks. 
And because I've made it once, I can give you some tips that I wasn't thinking about when I was doing this. But this is this one. It has um, four colors of yellow in it, just to give it a little, give it a little kick. So that's what we're going to be making. This first video, we're going to do the cutting when we're going to piece our main block. Video two, we're going to come by and cut some more, re-piece. Video three will be the layout and putting it all together. And then video four will be throwing it on the long arm. And I guess there might be a video five for putting the binding on, if you want to put the binding on with the long arm. If I do it that way, it'll be done. And then I can give it to Ben and say, hey, will you hand stitch this for me? Wink, wink. So how I'm going to do this, I am a big fan of like, if someone is going to create something for you, you need to purchase the pattern. So I'm not going to give you any cutting directions or I'm going to tell you how we're going to cut, but I'm not going to give you any dimensions. I feel like you need to purchase the pattern to be able to do that. It's eight bucks on discount if you go get it from um, Etsy. And I promise you, you're going to make this more than once because it's that good. So um, my first tip. I'm using solids or I'm using a solid background and I guess I don't need this whole stack a solid background and um, the fabric is all different in my reds in my red family so here's one of my reds this is actually there was a, a duplicate in my pack so this is two so I have two reds and two blues so with this quilt for my backgrounds I had a black on black and kind of a lighter darker teal with teal accents for my background fabric for my um my accent fabrics we'll call them they were all teal and then i had a few blocks of uh this yellow because i knew i wanted a pop i i knew i wanted this i wanted one of these and i needed um four blocks of yellow because each each block that we make is going to be is going to make two and we'll get to that in a second so for each uh oh let me see so for each one of these let's say this top one for each one of these three squares i got this so you get a positive and a negative image so i was thinking about that when i was creating that pattern what i wasn't thinking about i went through and i cut all my fabric and then i realized oh no i don't know which ones are going to go where and like my, because I had two different backgrounds. I had to think about that. I didn't want all of one color getting all of the same background when they were supposed to be like two and one or one and three, whatever. Um, so when you're doing this, match your pairs up first. That is your tip. If you're not using a solid background, match up your fabrics. So you're going to get, oh, I love this fabric. This fabric's beautiful. Oh, I love this background fabric that happens to be not the same as the other one. I'm using solids. You're going to match these two up and go through and match up all of your pairs. The, um, you'll need two layer cakes. It's layer cake friendly, but you will need two layer cakes because you're gonna need um, to take some out of each, but it won't take the full layer cakes. So I'm matching my pairs and putting them together. In this case, in my case, it's not gonna matter as much because I am using black. So um, that solid background, I can kind of mix and match with anything. Um, but if you are using different color backgrounds, make sure you Put your um, put your pairs together before you start cutting so i have all my pairs and everything set together i'm going to open the directions and our first cut it says well so first thing we're going to make a pair of a light and a dark um, and then you can layer them if you want to cut quicker i'm using layer cakes by connecting threads i can't remember what the red line is but i know the black is their solid line Okay, so now that you have all of your pairs, let me take some more. We're going to start cutting these. Um, basically, this video, we're going to do steps one through six. So we're going to go to our pattern, look, and step one, we're going to trim off our strip. So I am going to find my markings and... Trim off my strip. Yes, measure twice cut once okay so there's our first strip we've cut off and then we need to trim that little bit off of this strip so we're going to trim it one of the beauties about this especially if you're using layer cakes they're not always cut perfectly so we have our strip we cut off that's trash and then now we have our first piece 
Um, one of the beauties about this is that layer cakes um, aren't always cut quite perfect. Um, I I love using them, but I hate all like the frizzy stuff you get too. So whatever. Um, but this, like I said, this pattern is very forgiving, so we can always fix that up later. Um, so we've cut our first strip. We've done what we need to do to that one. If you're looking at the directions and you're using a layer cake instead of um, the 10 and a half inch squares, it'll say finish size X by 10 and a half. Um, your finish size is going to be X by 10. Anything that it says, uh, just take a half inch off those final pieces and that's about what you'll get. So um, I think that was step one. So we did step one, cutting our strip off. Step two, we're going to cut the next strip off. I should probably get my cup out of the way. So now we have this, and that's your cutting. That's the, what you're going to cut for each of these. So um, I've done one over here. So I have my strip, my other piece, my block, and the trash. Let me do it one more time. And I'm going to keep these in a family just because I want to try to keep things together. Remember what I said, we don't want to have to like sort through stuff later. So um, here, I have one more set. Make sure everything's lined up. And I, I know you're thinking like, uh, we didn't need a video for this. But just in case, sometimes directions can, these directions are written very good, but sometimes directions can be a little confusing. And I understand that because I get confused. So we're doing our first cut here. So that was step number one. Cut our first strip off. Step two, cut the piece off of this one. Done. Step three, cut our next piece off of here. And now I have my pieces. So I'm going to continue to um, cut my pieces out and we'll see you in a second over at the sewing machine. I forgot to mention this. We're starting a new project. Make sure you have a new rotary blade. Always close it too. Uh, put in your new rotary blade. Here's a reminder. Also, I'm using one of my favorite rulers. This is a Quilter Select ruler. I'll link this below. I'll link blades below and stuff. If you don't know, I have an Amazon affiliate now. Yay! Um, but uh, these Quilter Select rulers have a non-slick on the back, so they don't move. I love these things, especially... Um, I don't, I think, oh, it's over behind the camera. Um, the one that's like 23 by eight and a half, I, that's my favorite ruler. But um, I use these all the time. I have a square up rulers and everything in them. So I will link them because I really do love these rulers. Um, but yeah, I meant to say that when we started, time for a new blade. See you in a minute. All right, so I have everything cut. I am ready to get to my sewing machine. But just like I said before um, with your rotary blade, if you haven't changed your rotary blade, change your rotary blade. And now if you haven't cleaned your machine in a while, to, now's probably a good time to change your needle and to um, clean your machine and get out that lint. So I will see you at the machine in a minute. All right, so here we are, we're at my sewing machine. Um, it's threaded, cleaned, all of that. I'm going to take my first set. And I, again, I just like to keep things kind of in order. And we did steps one, two, and three, cutting this. Now we're going to do four, five, and six by putting it together. We're going to see that we have two long pieces, two square pieces, and two of these smaller top and bottom pieces. And I think they do theirs at the top, so we're going to switch this like that. So basically, what we're doing is we're going to take the square piece. Oops, I hit the camera. We're going to take the square, like, darker color, because you have a dark and a light. And here, we'll put these here since I have two. And the square of the light. And we're going to switch the other pieces. 
So one is going to get two dark outsides and a light inside. And one is going to get a dark inside and two light outsides. So we're making basically negative images of each other. So we're going to leave the long pieces off first. And we're just going to sew these pieces together. And again, um, like I said, this is very, very user friendly. Um, even though uh, these layer cakes weren't cut perfect, it's going to be fine in the end. So there's a light with a dark. Here's a dark with a light. We'll just do all four of these ones on camera for you. Now I am working with my, uh, oh, I want that there. I am working with my, uh, Walking foot. This is this is my Bernina. It does have a built-in walking foot. I would suggest that for this project if you have one. If you don't, not super necessary. So now I have my four pieces. And I'm going to go take these and I'm going to press them all to the dark per the instructions. All right, I'm back. Uh, they have been pressed. We have two dark with light and two light with dark. And now we're just going to add that other piece on. Now, depending on how your pieces were cut and stamped at your layer cakes, if you're using layer cakes, these might not be... A, exactly perfect but again not going to super worry about that because this pattern doesn't have anything we have to match up perfect it definitely sounds like i should have oiled my machine i was just working on it before we went on vacation but i think i did a lot of stuff So now I'm going to go take these and press these. So now we have our two uh, negative squares. We have a dark with two lights and a light with two darks. Um, I'm going to continue over here because I don't think you need to watch me make all of them. But um, I will see you back here in a second. All right. So that is week one of our sew along. Remember, this is um, steps one through six of the pattern. We took our layer cake. We cut our strips off that we needed to. We took it to the sewing machine. We sewed those strips back. We have a positive and a negative block for each of these. And we're going to pause there until next week. Um, one quick tip, or we'll review quick tips and I'll add another one. Um, when you are matching up your pairs, match them up before you start cutting. So much easier. Um, keep them in pairs while you work so you have everything together. And then um, second tip when you are pressing these when you have added um, you added your first strip when you add the long strip and you come and press this if you have like um some type of sizing if you use uh, uh best press or flatter or any of those um it will help in the next step if you use some type of uh why can't i think of what it's called 
if you use some type of starch or starch alternative. Um, I have Best Press. I have Acorns Pre Precision Pressing Solution. Um, I just don't know where any of it is. So I'm going to uh, maybe go find that today in the garage somewhere so I have it. Um, but it will help in the next step. So that's what we're doing for this week. You've just finished week one of the Adam So Fun Summer Quilt Along. Hashtag ASF Summer QAL. Um, remember, uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. Um, we will do that. We'll, I'll drop a new video every Friday for the so long. Um, follow me on social media, Adam So Fun with an S E W at Facebook and Instagram, so you can see all of the craziness that happens in the Adam So Fun life. Uh, other things, post photos, do the hashtag. If you haven't, join the So Fun community on Facebook. Um, like so S E W fun community. Uh, it's just a positive place for you to post pictures, ask questions and get a, a lot of like, Oh my gosh, you're amazing. You're great. You're fabulous. You're beautiful. And you're stunning. So we'll see you in the next video. At the end of the day, it's just quilting. We're not going to worry that this isn't perfect. We can always square it up. If we are worried, uh, this guy, not that worried. We'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye.